So this is boot camp session one. This is the second section where we talked about um, where to place your finger and how hard do you press. And we took a look at the C chord. And the C chord, we're recommending that you play with your ring finger and that you place your ring finger on the third fret first string, just as I am here. And that you think of the center of the top of the fleshy part of your finger, if you can see that, as a dot being there. Can you see that? I think you can see that. Yeah, there you go. There being a dot there, and that dot is what you want to put right on as close to that fret bar as you can get. And so you're just using minimal pressure to bend the string over the fret bar. That is shortening the string and producing a different tone than this is no pressure and no bend and no nothing. And this is shortening it by creating your C chord and significantly different tone. And then we took a look at how you would go from two, three, five, seven, paying attention the whole time to where you're placing your finger in relationship to the fret bar and how your finger is curved and bent. Curved, it's got some curvature to it so that over time as you're putting that these fingers in other places they're avoid they're only hitting one string you're avoiding other strings so it was two three five seven five seven twelve ten seven five three zero and that was Danny Boy. There's a little slide at the end there if you want to throw that in. Try practicing that. Five to three. Just press down, pluck, and only hit it once and slide it down to three. Something like that. Anyway, we took a look at that. We took a look at a couple of warm-up exercises. Uh, Craig Cheese Spider, where you put your index finger on the first, hit it, your middle finger on the second fret, first string, your ring finger, third fret, first string, pinky on the fourth fret, and then play them back. Pinky, ring, middle, index, and then slide up and try to keep your fingers together and try to keep them underneath an invisible electric wire that's only a half an inch above your fretboard here. So you're just trying to make minimal movement. Slide again to the third fret, index finger, first string, third fret. So what you're trying to do um, over time is keep your fingers together. Start to learn placement of your fingers relative to the fret bars. Start to learn how your frets narrow as you move down the neck, or some people call it up the neck. Um, and it's a great little exercise just to warm up your fingers and start to develop some independent movement on the part of your fingers. We did that, and then some of us did this, some of us didn't. But there's also the um, uh, spider, which was doing the four fingers on the four frets, starting on the top. So your index finger, uh, first fret, top string, or um, G string, uh, and your middle finger, second fret, ring finger, third fret, pinky, fourth fret. And then trying to move, uh, if we called these fingers one, two, three, four, three and four together, down to the third fret and then one and two together and then three and four together down to the uh, second string rather and one and two together and then three and four together and then one and two and then you work them back up again then you do the outside so you do one and four 
move them together down to the third string, and then two and three down to the third string, one and four to the second string, two and three to the second string, one and four to the first, two and three down to the first, and then move them back up in the same order, back up to the fourth string. And then last but not least, everyone's absolute favorite is doing one and three, eek, okay? Down to the third string and two, two and four together, as together as you can make it down to the third string. You're not trying to pluck anything here, you're just developing independent movement of your fingers. And then uh, one and three down to the second string, and then two and four, there we go, and then one and three down to the first string, and then two and four, and then back up again. So that is big time fun. And that was the second section of uh, Ukulele Boot Camp Session 1.